day 22. Two and a half K into my run today. And my worst fears have been realized. I'm gutted, but also stupid, I guess. Lots of you will probably say, because something's just not right with my knee at all now. Around the first 2K, 520 and 518 felt absolutely brilliant no twinges nothing and then suddenly bang on two and a half k just getting into a nice comfortable stride uh top of my calf and the back of my knee has just gone uh, like tightness and a bit of a shooting pain so i immediately stopped to try to stretch it tried to do some calf warm-ups but it was it's just too painful so i'm walking and i'm walking with pain at the minute Gutted, gutted. Well, we'll see. I have a hot bath tonight. Uh, I'm going to put some uh, compression socks on when I get in. Uh, I've got a massage book tomorrow, so fingers crossed. I've done two and a half k today, though, so not hitting my daily average. But only nine days left of the challenge after today. This is it. This is it, right? Any runner will know. Any proper runner, any sensible runner will be telling me now just to quit this challenge because there's a very real chance that this injury could be a four week plus injury if I risk running on it more. And that's what left side of my brain is telling me. The right side of my brain is telling me, and my heart is telling me, <laughs> get your massage done tomorrow, see how you feel, and let's get nine days done, even if it's only 2k a day. We'll see. We'll see. Happy running. Hey everyone, back again. January 23rd, Red January Challenge, and I'm happy again because I've come out with Disha today. Hi, Disha. Hi. <laughs> she came back, so that's one reason I'm happy. But also, yesterday's video, which will be part of this video as well, uh, you'll see that my knee went, and I thought that was it. It was really bad, but we've gone out for a nice, gentle one today along the canal path after a hot bath foam roll self massage whilst watching tv it feels all right again today so just taking it easy we're probably going to finish on about 4k nice and light so that's it really for today but good news dish is back yeah. haven't put her off but running with me on my own today though are you going to come back next week yeah <laughs> it's on camera now yeah. you have to <laughs> but yeah catch you later so I'm back, uh, 4K done in 30 minutes. So it was a good couple of minutes slower than my usual pace, which is exactly what I needed today. The knee felt fine again. So lesson learned, obviously, the gamble I took on Sunday, which I recorded and posted, you'll all see it, um, was doing 11K. Felt all right the next day, uh, Monday, Tuesday felt all right. There were just two nice gentle 5Ks. But yesterday, obviously tried to go out a bit too fast and not good. So my body is definitely telling me that I'm doing too much, either going too fast or, or just running too much generally. So I need to listen to it. Um, but there's eight days left of this challenge now and I'm determined to finish it, but not at the detriment of a long-term injury. So I think I'll just take it easy every day now, like I did today, just a 30 minute, it might only be 4K a day, um, at a much slower pace, but I'll get it done and I'll keep my fitness and hopefully not get a silly injury just for the sake of doing a challenge. But thank you for all your support so far. Um, still looking for sponsorship, still looking for likes, comments, subscriptions to the YouTube channel. Thank you to Ben, my friend, for being the 100th subscriber. Yay, 100 subscribers. Saskia, who ran with us on Monday, I think. She was our 99th subscriber, so thank you to Saskia as well. Um, thank you to everyone that subscribed. Now I'm gonna push on 200 to be in the next big milestone. So thanks a lot, happy running.